Disney's live action Snow White remake was already going to have a hard time breaking even at the box office, even with a $200 million budget. The rumors of the, the dwarves being replaced by magical creatures, the uh, bad press <laughs> that was done uh, by Rachel Zegler. Remember the whole weird, weird, Prince Charming's a stalker. Um, even, even the, even when word got out that the story wasn't going to uh, maintain its, its, its faith in the source material, it wasn't going to follow the grim fairy tale, which the animated Snow White in 1937 had done. It was the, the movie that kicked off Disney's hundred plus years of success. Fast forward to this past week when um, Stefan over on X found these posts from one Rachel Zegler, star of said Snow White. I mean, everything with this movie is pointing in it, it in the direction of being a colossal flop. Probably one of the biggest flops in the history of cinema. I mean, just look at the, the, the teaser trailer that was released a couple months back. Look at the number of likes to dislikes. 10 million views. 13% of its audience said, nah, we don't like it. And even a lower percentage said, yeah, this looks pretty good. Well, Megan Kelly is even caught on to this. And when Megan Kelly catches on to this, um, you've got issues, Disney. You've got some big issues. This is in the New York Post. Megan Kelly calls Rachel Zegler a pig after Snow White stars nasty triad against Trump voters. Again, the aforementioned post over on Instagram. Deadline picked it up. Rachel Zegler apologizes after Snow White star and Disney demand damned by Megan Kelly and ruthless podcast hosts over fuck Donald Trump post. Megan Kelly's show put this out uh, la actually not that long ago. A couple days ago. Hello, Disney. You're going to have to redo your film again because this woman is a pig and you fired Gina Carano for far, far less than this nonsense, which is true. Disney did, did fire Gina for far less than this. Um, and this is someone that doesn't have a problem with, you know, pissing off half the audience, the paying customer that herself, other people that star in this movie, like Gal Gadot, even Disney themselves rely on to make that almighty green, the almighty money. It's all about the dollar. But instead, you have someone that comes out and says something like this. And this was just before the election. I don't think I've come up on this uh, social media app to say that we have a really important presidential election coming up. And Lenny is very eager for you to vote for Kamala Harris. And it's actually non-negotiable. Our rights are on the line, folks our reproductive rights. Come on, go vote blue. And if you disagree with this sentiment, just hit the unfollow button. I don't need your business. Thanks. These people in Hollywood, it doesn't matter if it's the movie industry, music industry, whatever. It's all right to have an opinion. 
In fact, it's encouraged to have an opinion. But when it comes to politics and entertainment, those things do not mix. If I were Disney right now, I, I, I would be... I don't know if it, I don't even know if they can do damage control or enough damage control to to help this movie out. I mean, this movie's supposed to be out in just a few months. There's no time to go back and reshoot. There's no time to you know replace Rachel Zegler. She's put them in a horrible position, and like I said at the beginning of this video, this movie was going to have a tough road to making money to begin with with all the negative press from a couple years ago. Now I wanna show you guys something here real quick. Um, this is one screenshot from her Instagram reel. And if you look at how this was typed out, look how this is worded, versus her apology, which I'm gonna find it. Here's her apology. Notice the difference. This wasn't, this wasn't something that came from the heart. This wasn't something that she truly, truly felt like she had to apologize for. This was something that was written out for her and she probably copy and pasted. You know, there's a, there's a quote by Michael Jordan and you know, in his in his Netflix series, or it was the 30, 30 for 30 series on ESPN, he addressed it, saying it was an off-the-cuff comment. But even if it was an off-the-cuff comment, it still rings true today. And that comment was, Republicans buy sneakers too, or Republicans buy shoes too. In other words, he knew his job was to play basketball. He knew his job wasn't to make his political leanings known to the masses because he knew it could affect his income. He knew it could affect Nike. He knew it could affect heck, the Chicago Bulls for all, the, for all that matters. So just a lesson to some of you stars quote unquote, that are out there in Hollywood. It's okay to have an opinion. There is a first amendment out there. But think before you speak. How is this going to affect myself? How is this going to affect, I don't know, the studio that I'm working for? How is it going to affect the project I'm working on? You got to think about these things because it doesn't do any good to piss off half your audience. So that's all, that's all I got for right now. Um, some people think that Rachel Zegler should be fired. I don't think that's a solution. I don't think firing her is going to do any good. It's not going to teach her a lesson, especially this late in the game, this close to the movie being released. Now, if this would have happened say a year ago, a year and a half ago, yeah, they could have replaced her. They could have recasted the role, reshot, reshot the movie with a new lead. Still wouldn't have ta taught her a lesson, though. So there you have it. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. While you're at also, too, please take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys.